If you live in Tulsa or Oklahoma, for that matter, you've heard of Rustic Cuff and Jill Donovan. We're used to seeing her full of energy, spreading joy, and always coming up with the latest and greatest fun thing to do with her amazing cuffs. And not much changed in the pandemic until... All the people that I had known that had had COVID up to this point were able to so, still function in a way that made me think COVID is like a bad flu until, until it goes into your lungs and then it it is a whole different path that becomes a much scarier path. And the story you'll see only on Ada had a chance to talk with her about her fight with COVID and how it changed her. Whether it's Project Cuffway, Black Friday fun, or just her social media posts, most of us are used to seeing Jill Donovan full of life and running full speed ahead until I went home and I said, I feel like I have literally just run a marathon and I cannot, I can't function and make dinner like I do. So just to be safe, she says she quarantined in her bedroom, which at first was almost kind of fun, but soon she had achy legs, a sore throat, and lost her sense of smell. You keep trying to blame it on something else because you don't want to believe that you have it. She got tested and yes, she did have COVID. For 12 days, she quarantined at home. Friends would stop by trying to show support and she was doing okay, but My then people. things took a turn. But that's when it turned from being able to manage it at home, right? quarantining in my bedroom to I can't catch my breath I need help and that's when her husband took her to Ascension St. John I laid in bed for the first five days with no movement and I finally said I'm gonna get up and shower she would end up spending eight days in the hospital and they took a, an x-ray of my lungs and they brought it back to me and it looked well it was just cloudy it was very very cloudy frightening. Donovan says she was on oxygen the whole time and she had to have steroids to help her breathe. When they start asking you questions about ventilator and and the questions that they have to ask you and you're all alone, it's where your mind goes to some fearful places. She says being sick, isolated and scared for so long also takes a mental toll. I'm all alone in this small room a small window, 24 hours a day, and I couldn't talk on the phone because when I would talk, I would cough. And so it was very hard, but I would have moments of feeling okay. And sometimes she'd post on social media trying to keep her spirits up. Thank you for being there for the encouragement. Ultimately, she says the support from her medical yeah, team, family, friends, even strangers, got her through it nope. and left her with a changed perspective on life. Every day I want to wake up and say, what do I want to do today with the breaths that I'm given? Is it falling into the purpose that God has for me? Otherwise, I don't care what anybody says. And it will, feeling that close to losing your breath changes your perspective for your life after when you catch your breath. Donovan says her temperature at times was higher than 103, so some of her memories, they're foggy. She says she doesn't know where she got COVID, and yes, she says she wore a mask before her diagnosis and is wearing one after. She told me her husband did develop COVID, but he has recovered, and her children so far have not had it, but they all had to quarantine as well. She also says sometimes she still has bad days where all of a sudden she just needs to get in bed. And she also wants everyone to know she's thankful for all the prayers, love, and support that helped her heal.